Hello, I'm Karen Atkinson of Mindfulness UK and a director of Mindfulness UK at work. I've recently had a book published entitled Compassionate Mindful Inquiry in Therapeutic Practice and the publisher is Singing Dragon of Jessica Kingsley. And I'd like to read you the beginning of chapter two, which is entitled The Iceberg Model of Compassionate Mindful Inquiry. And it's about a model that I have developed to help uh, practitioners of mindfulness, students and teachers of mindfulness in every sector uh, to be able to um, work through the inquiry process for the benefit of themselves uh, when they're self-reflecting and for those around them and their clients that they're teaching. So the benefits of a framework. After taking a part in the process of inquiry workshop with me, one of my students, Jill, commented that she now feels that she knows this territory as a result of exploring the model and appreciates that once she has familiarised herself with this process over time when teaching, she'll be able to let go of consciously following the model. Jill, a social worker, explains that having a sequence of questions to ask at each stage will augment her natural curiosity about what people are thinking and feeling, and it will enhance her work, which necessitates developing a deeper understanding of the service user's emotional, physical and psychological status right now. The framework, therefore, has a role in helping a teacher to see the bigger picture and in developing their knowledge around the general direction to take from the outset. It includes some specific reference points and suggestions about how to get started and the best ways to proceed. It gives the whole process perspective enabling more clarity around what the teacher is setting out to facilitate, giving the opportunity to plan, prioritise and pace teaching and learning. Being a teacher of these practices is unlike most other teaching roles, where there is often some predictability, a right and a wrong answer, and a general appreciation of what people will experience while being taught a skill. Teaching mindfulness and compassion really isn't anything like this. Certainly, there are some general themes, feedback responses that occur quite frequently, and similarities as a result of certain practices. But this is very often not the case. I've been teaching these skills for over 20 years, and the reason I love it so much is that hearing about other people's experiences keeps it fresh and fascinating. I genuinely don't know what someone is going to say about their experience at any given moment. That is why it is so important that the teacher is anchored and centred when asking questions around experiences during practice. They need to have the confidence to hold whatever arises and know what to do and say in unpredictable circumstances. Becoming familiar with a framework provides a safe haven a comfort zone to revert to, so that the teacher can reorientate inquiry with their client if things get a little uneasy and uncertain. Wigging it blindly, continuing without a framework, can not only result in teachers getting into difficulties and losing their way, but more importantly by far, the client may become uneasy or confused, and in the worst case scenario, more problems can result. Learning inquiry is hard, there's no question about it. Although some teachers have a natural affinity for it and a natural curiosity and a good listeners, there's more to it than this. And it is certainly a steep learning curve. There is no substitute for practicing guiding inquiry and developing skills through experience. However, becoming familiarised with a framework can help to get the process started. I always tell my students to teach what you know, and this knowing has to be, to some extent, from their own experience of practice and self-inquiry, particularly at the beginning. 
However, this experiential learning can also be profoundly enhanced with cognitive learning, which helps a teacher to grow their edges of comfort zone and become more spontaneous and flexible within the wider context of the framework. During a recent supervision session, a student sheepishly asked me if it was okay to enjoy the process of inquiry. She explained what a mutually rewarding experience it had seemed to be and found it deeply moving and energising. Her timid question made me laugh. This is the joyous side of this work, supporting others and resonating with them so that everyone benefits. Thank you.